Welcome to my talk about the DeVia curriculum. My name is Nancy Rourke. The DeVia curriculum project began right after an artist retreat in Olathe, Kansas, at the Kansas School for the Deaf. This was in 2013, and 40 artists gathered there to study the past, the present, and the future of Devia. This gentleman led the idea of a nationwide DeVia curriculum. We train teachers on an annual basis how to develop their own curricula in their schools, focusing on DeVia principles. These art teachers come from all over to learn about the DeVio curriculum. Many of them have already developed their own personal and professional curricula, but they feel this collaboration is important. We've also had some teachers from other fields, and they've been able to apply these curriculum goals to their own work. Deafblind students have a right to know about their history, about their heritage, about their language, about the struggles and victories of our community, and about their identity. We believe that this is possible through visual art, that these students can express themselves and that they can see their struggles through the visual arts. We focus on the deaf experience. Deaf and deafblind students will be introduced to several things. First, the meaning behind Devia. Second, the history of the movement. Third, the motifs, themes, and categories of Devia art. All of this information is contained on our website. Let's start with the meaning of Devia. Here's the spelling and the sign for the concept. It's written as D-E apostrophe V-I-A and the V-I-A are always in capital letters. The apostrophe is a nod to the French, specifically a nod to Laurent Clair, who brought LSF to the United States. What it means is Deaf View Image Art as an acronym. We put a slash there between those two words because there's one sign. It's, it's a classifier or a compound sign. We have the hand, which represents the canvas, and the deaf experience is put onto that canvas. So there's image there and that's really what Devia stands for.
Themes are important because artists try to show messages through these themes. One of them is unity. What would you see here? You see a hand motif. Do you see resistance or affirmation? Do you see affirmation? Here's another painting I'm going to show you with a unity theme in the affirmation category and contains the hand motif. You will see hands show up several times in Devia art. This is called recurring motifs. Hands are very popular, and artists will decide what they want to use. Another example is in motif create trading cards. Tiffany Hogland from the Rocky Mountain School for the Deaf in Colorado came up with this concept. She made different cards and the teacher will pick different pictures with the meaning explained below them. She'll have a stack of these, and she'll pass them out to the students for them to pick one or two different motifs, and then create art from those. The turtle. The turtle is an affirmation piece of art. The turtle has no ears. So, in the same way as us, the turtle is deaf. The turtle has a hard shell on its back, symbolizing strength. The turtle is also slow, takes its time, like the deaf community, which is even keeled. We also include Devia artists' work. The American School for the Deaf is proud to sponsor the National Deaf Education Conference, which has created the NDEC Signs and NDEC Engage series this year. During the pandemic, we need to be creative and thoughtful about how we reach our communities, and NDEC has done that for our instructors, administrators, and parents. Thank you. D-A-I-R to via artist in residence it is part of our curriculum workshop where we invite one artist in residence to introduce to the teachers their work the teachers have the opportunity to meet this person and understand who they are
In the DeVia curriculum, we also have teacher talks where they can share their lesson plans. We asked teachers to discuss the best signs for specific vocabulary items through video. Color wheel. The color wheel is a wheel of colors, starting from red, going through purple, and from the outside, the lightest going to darker on the inside. Hue is the gradient between colors, for example, between orange, yellow, and green. Dali has two name signs. Frida Kahlo again has two. Michelangelo. Picasso. Van Gogh. Surdis United, SU, is a collaborative of artists. Our goal is to honor Betty Miller and Chuck Baird, two famous to be artists who were influential and we want students to know who they were. We have specific guidelines that we start with. For example, in groups, students need to discuss certain issues and create art from that. They pick motifs, they make videos, and so on to explain what those motifs are and their process in creating the art. When they're done with these projects, we like to show them publicly so that they get recognition. Our class created something to honor Betty Miller and Chuck Baird. They studied their art and picked the theme, If My Hands Could Speak. They selected different colors, looking at the colors in Chuck Baird's art, for example, and decided to create this panel that you see.
One of our big goals for this project through Surist United is that we are committed to bringing Davia into the classroom. Thank you.